to Anthea, who may command him anything, by Robert Herrick, 1591 to 1674. Bid me to live, and I will live, thy Protestant to be. Or bid me love, and I will give a loving heart to thee. A heart as soft, a heart as kind, a heart as sound and free, as in the whole world thou canst find, that heart I'll give to thee. Bid that heart stay, and it will stay, to honour thy decree, or bid it languish quite away, and shall do so for thee. Bid me to weep, and I will weep, while I have eyes to see, and having none, yet I will keep a heart to weep for thee. Bid me despair, and I'll despair under that cypress tree, or bid me die, and I will dare e'en death to die for thee. Thou art my life, my love, my heart, the very eyes of me, and hast command of every part to live and die for thee. Okay, this poem is by Robert Herrick. Let's see, he was born in London. Um, his father was a goldsmith. Um, he went to St. John's College, Cambridge, and um, he became a priest, an Anglican priest. Now, that was a problem because this was in the times of the uh, Civil War and um, the Anglican Church was on the side of the King um, and the Protestants believed that the, the sorry the yeah the Puritans or the Protestants believed that there was too much ca uh, Catholic influence still in the Protestant Church and uh, um, he was kicked out of his Devonshire um, parish for that, um, although he, he was restored there when the uh, with the restoration of the monarchy. So this poem is called "To Anthea, Who May Command Him Anything," and this poem is about love. This is uh, about a, a man writing about his love for Anthea. This person is in love with Anthea and will do anything that she asks him to do. Bid me to live, and I will live, thy Protestant to be. So ask me to live, and I will do it. I will even become a Protestant, a Puritan for thee. Herrick was an Anglican, and uh, the, the, really the um, Puritans were the radical Protestants. Or bid me love, and I will give a loving heart to thee. So bid me, ask me to love you, and I will give a heart full of love to you. A heart as soft, a heart as kind, a heart as sound and free, as in the whole world thou canst find, that heart I'll give to thee. So I will give you the softest, kindest, uh, freest, healthiest heart that you can f that could be found in the whole world, and that will be my heart, and I will give it to you because I love you. Bid that heart stay, and it will stay. Tell the heart, tell my heart to stay, and I will stay. To honour thy decree, it will stay to honour what you have ordered it to do. Or bid it languish quite away, and shall do so for thee. So order it to um, decay away, to be alone and uh, 
uh, decrease slowly to nothing and that heart will also do that for you bid me to weep and I will weep while I have eyes to see so ask me to cry and I will cry as long as I have eyes and having none and even if I don't have any eyes anymore yet I will keep a heart to weep for thee so even if I don't have eyes I will cr I will use my heart to cry for you because uh, I, 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 I will do exactly as you ask bid me despair and I'll despair under that cypress tree so ask me to become desperate and I will become desperate under that cypress tree now very often we find cypress trees in graveyards yeah or bid me die ask me to die and I will dare even death to die for me so ask me to die for you and I will die for you thou art my life you are my life my love my heart the very eyes of me you are my eyes and thou ha and hast commanded every part to live and die for thee and you have charged you're in control of every part of me and every part of me lives and dies for you because I'm just so in love with you so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon to Anthea who may command him anything by Robert Herrick